Right, so I just need to add a bit of makeup here and a makeup there. Huh? Oh, oh, no, don't, don't come in yet. I'm still not ready. Uh, yeah, I am dressed. It's just, I just need to. No, 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 don't come in, no. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Y yes. It's me, Ivor. Okay, listen. Uh, there's no need for the. There's no need for you to listen, anyways. You're not gonna listen to me, anyways. Yes, I. As you can tell, I. I am a guy. And not a girl. Yeah. Listen, I I think I should go. Um, there's no need for you to, you know, hang with me. After all, I'm just so weirdo wearing women's clothing. Now that you already know my true identity, so I better get going. Uh huh? Wh what do you mean? Aren't you gonna leave me? I'm a guy wearing makeup. I don't know what kind of person you are. You could be, you know. Let me explain. Um. So, basically, genderqueer is a person who does not subscribe to conventional gender distinctions, but identifies with neither both or a combination of male and female genders. You know, sometimes I kind of feel more comfortable wearing, you know, women's clothing than men's clothing. I like to identify myself as a woman. Well, what all started was when, you know, when I was young, I have siblings. My siblings are young and they love to, you know, play dress up. And they did put me in women's clothing. You know, the typical boy thinking, ew, gross, a girl dressing up a guy. Not me. I. I felt comfortable. I felt beautiful. I even felt more beautiful when my siblings put makeup on my face. I never felt this beautiful. I noticed that I don't want to be handsome, nor a gentleman. I want to be beautiful and I want to be beautiful and lovely. Yeah. I forgot to hide this. I, I mean, yeah, I was hiding this. Here's my gender queer button. <sighs> Since I did buy it online. And I do have this gender queer flag. So, for me to come out as gender queer. If you want to leave me, if you want to end this friendship, that's fine. I mean, I mean, it's your choice, it's not my choice whether or not you should leave me or not, you know what I mean? Huh? You don't want to leave me? Uh, huh? Is it because you support me? <laughs> It makes me very happy. I mean, you are my best friend. Of course you would support me. You would support me if every single move or action I would do. Well, even if I do something stupid, I don't think you ever support me, but I've never done anything stupid. Including you, I mean, you sometimes do the stupidest crap in the world. But I'm still with you. 
right. I say thank you for accepting me, who I am. You know, I. It's very, very shocking to me. You know, normally people never support me for being genderqueer. They just look at me as if I'm a crazy lunatic wearing women's clothing and makeup. I like it. It suits me better than me wearing men's clothing. I mean, I did feel a little embarrassed, you know, going to the mall, going to any clothes store in a bunch of, you know, people looking at me and including looking at me of, of course, going into the men's changing room. All the other men looking at me wondering why I, you know, is coming into the changing room with women's clothing. Been getting a lot of eye contacts and a lot of Karens telling me, you're a guy, you're supposed to wear guy clothes, not women's clothes. You're a guy, you're supposed to wear, you know, men's underwear, not women's lingerings and all that other shit. Um... But, yeah, it was pretty rough around my times. You know, people picking on me at school. When did I came out as genderqueer? Well, I think ever, you know, my freshman year of high school. I totally regret coming out in my freshman year. Totally did been bullied. I even got food tossed all over me. I even got beaten up calling me uh forget sissy and a crazy drag queen. You know. It wasn't very fun all those four years of high school. Although I did meet a few friends who actually did support me and did defend me well, through my junior year. Through my junior year and my senior year. Freshman and sophomore was bullshit. of shit. You know, I nearly got myself killed. But at least that got out of my chest, you know. But I was thinking in my head, I could just hide it. And then afterwards, I would, you know, come out. I mean, regardless, the stuff I post on my social media, I'm sure people from school would, you know, already see it. So it wouldn't surprise me. Who knows? Maybe there are other haters out there hating on me. But I'm really happy that you accept of who I am. I'd like to say thank you. It really, really means a lot to me. And I would promise I will support you if there's something you want to come out. I mean, you support me and I support you. We're both two peas in a pod. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. This means so much to me. I love you so much, best friend.